Hi everybody, welcome to a new video. It's absolutely stunning out here today after several days of rain where I've been trapped inside and I've taken that as an opportunity to dive back into working on the shower. I started it ages ago and if you haven't seen any of the shower series, you can click up here and find the playlist and catch up to speed on what I've been doing in there. It's been a lot and I'm pushing forward and very excited to be doing so. This was supposed to be one video, but it's turned into two. It's going to be a two-parter, first out today, the next one out tomorrow. And that's because in the second video, I had an uninvited guest that I had to entertain. So the video got longer than expected. In this video, we're going to go back to the shower, do some rendering, solve some problems, and push on with the work. So I hope you enjoy the video. If you do, please do give it a like, and I'll see you guys again at the end. So Mike is hanging out underneath the pomegranate tree. And the pomegranates, though they started off pretty well, they never really got that big and they sort of exploded open. So it's interesting to see that they grew, but they're definitely nowhere near as impressive as the pomegranates of my friends. Lots of other people I know have massive trees with massive fruit and yeah, I guess it's something to work towards. Oh, that's, no, I would prefer I prefer if you didn't do that to the tree. Thank you. Thank you very much. So it's a gloomy day, but it's beautiful nonetheless. The weather's definitely turned. We're in almost mid-September. The olives are looking great. I've got lots of trees that are doing really, really well as opposed to last year when I had barely any, so. That's great to see, and it's lovely to see these cloudy mornings. It's going to rain quite a bit today, so I've got the workshop set up inside, and I'm planning on working on the shower. So there's a lot of stuff I want to get done in the shower over the next couple days. Let's head inside to the workshop, and I'll show you what I have in mind. Got a big old bucket of lime mixed up, ready to go on the walls. Got my workshop ready to do a little bit of carpentry to frame up the walls. I have the tripod set up so that I can get the laser level on the wall. And I have this bottle, which I'm hoping to do something very interesting with, which I'll explain later on. So first things first, I don't even know. Let's mark up the lines. I'm very, very excited to have this light that my dad installed. So I'm going to adjust the height of the laser so I know where I'm going to be rendering to. I'd like the render to come up halfway to the window and then go over in a little frame and then continue around. So somewhere, so somewhere around there, which will then line up to where I've done the clay already. And then it'll sort of uh, curve down to meet the top of this wall here. So I need to lower the tripod so that this line is more or less kind of here and then connects up to this little bit here. And then I have my guide. So that looks pretty good. Uh, I guess I'll just draw a line. And then I can work to that. So my intention is to embed these bottles into the wall to allow light to shine through. But the interesting, I think, thing that I want to do is leave this open. And I'm going to have a piece of wood that acts as a shelf up here. I'll probably put succulents or other plants and things on top of here. And then I want to do it so that I can remove 
the shelf at the top and have this open so that I can drop some LED lights or something into the neck of it and make it so that I can then make these multicolored. Um, I'm not really sure. I wanted to stick with the clear glass because I just like the simplicity of it, but I also really like the idea of having an option for something a bit more interesting. So that's kind of what I'd like to do. I guess one of my problems with this whole plan is that I don't really know anything about the world of lighting or small electronics, and I have a feeling I might have to get some sort of a little kit. So while I would love to have a little LED lights to kind of stick in here, I think you get the ones that kind of come on like a long strand and then there's just like a little bead of light at the end. I don't know what the heck those things are called. I don't even know what to search for. So the idea is that I'd probably have five or six bottles running along the top here. The shelf on top, you lift that up. There's probably going to be a groove in the wood for the wires. The lights will drop into the tops of all the bottles. The wire will run down the side and there might be some kind of control panel or switch down, hidden away down there somewhere. Um, but yeah, I, I feel like these lights exist. Uh, I don't know what they're called. LED lights, I think, is a catch-all for many different types of things. So if anyone out there is grasping the method to my madness and has an idea of what lights would work for this, please do chime in in the comments and let me know what to search for, what to buy. So that's my idea. Maybe just crazy enough to work. Maybe it won't work at all. At a minimum, I'm going to have bottles embedded in the wall. At a maximum, I'll have bottles embedded that do interesting things using lights. But what this means is that because of the size of this bottle, if I want to have space underneath it, I'm going to need to go a little bit higher on the render. So probably closer to about maybe there. So I need to adjust my line. I want it all to match up so that the render on the shower goes to just underneath where the shelf will be. And that means I need to kind of raise this line up a bit. So I'm going to mark up the wood and then I'm going to remark the wall behind me to go a couple centimeters higher. And then we'll get started framing up this wall section. So the ones that I want to use are these guys here. I have loads and loads of them stored up here and more in the polytunnel. And this is what I use when I do what's called waddle and daub. And these are the waddles, so you put them across a span of wall, and the daub is the clay or the lime that then gets sort of spread over top of it. So in this case, things are going to be quite a bit more complicated because of the bottles. I have to kind of build a frame somehow around them. Never done it before, but I'm looking forward to the challenge. I don't know if I'll get to this today because I do want to pick up I think four more bottles to be able to actually finish this. So uh, yeah, I'll do what I can and then we'll move on to actually getting the render on the wall a little later today. Let's take two. need some refinement but here's my idea I want to center these bottles more or less in the middle of where the front face of this wall will be and where the shower will be so it'll kind of the render will, cur will curve in to meet the bottle um, it'll be kind of recessed uh, and so let's see I don't have a lot of space to work with so I'll probably end up doing it so that one of these wooden pieces is kind of on this side of the bottleneck, and then there's another one on the other side of the bottleneck. I'm probably going to end up using some metal clips in the bottom to hold the clay in place. And I guess I have some more space on this side to also do 
some of these. I can't do any of these underneath the bottles because there's no space. So I'll just build up the clay and sort of set it in. Um, yeah. I feel like I have some kind of rough plan in my head that's going to work, maybe work. Because I don't have all the bottles, I can't go too far on it. But I'm going to get started, and I'll check in periodically as I work on this thing. Because, uh, like I said, I'm not 100% sure what I'm doing yet, so it'll be quite difficult to film. Because it'll be mostly me standing around, scratching my head. Um, so, wish me luck. Let's see how this goes. I'm feeling medium confident that I can get this done. And I'll see you very soon. Well, it's turned into a lovely day, and I've been hard at work doing some very, very strange carpentry, but it's absolutely gorgeous out here. But I'm inside. Let's go take a look. So here we have some fairly serious weirdness. Let's see if I can get this to fit in place, and hopefully it'll all make sense. But I understand that as it is right now, it probably looks very strange. Okay, here we are with the weirdness. Let's see. So this is going to kind of fit in like this. More or less. It'll go down a bit more. Anyway, roughly. And then this bottle will kind of be embedded in here, and I've got the metal clips there to hold the clay, to allow it to grip onto something because it won't grip onto the glass. So this is definitely a weird way to do things. If you were just doing waddle and daub, like the way I did this wall down here, the way I'm going to do that wall over there, I would just be running these horizontal pieces across, and I wouldn't even use metal because you can just kind of use the straw to drape over the wooden bits and then the rest of the clay will then grip onto the existing clay that's sitting on the horizontal pieces. Whereas because I'm incorporating glass into this and because I've got these vertical pieces to sort of go around where the glass is going to be, I've put these metal pieces in to allow the, the clay to have something to grip onto. Clay doesn't really love wood, it doesn't like to grip onto wood very well. So yeah, this is going mostly to plan. I'm pretty happy with how this is turning out. I'll do another one of these wooden uh, things for the other side to sort of sandwich the glass bottle on either side. And then I guess I can get on with the rendering. I still got to go to town and get four more of these guys before I can finish this off completely. But I can definitely make a really, really good dent in this. So I'm going to just carry on with the carpentry. I'm going to check in again when I'm ready to render. All right, I'm very happy to be inside working. Let's get back to it. So before I get back to work, let me show you my roasted tomato soup that I'm making. Somebody asked me what sorts of things I like to eat. They don't really see me do a lot of recipe stuff. And I do like cooking fresh from my garden. Uh, this is tomatoes from my garden, basil from my garden, garlic from the supermarket, onion from my friend's garden, and I basically roasted the tomatoes, then I caramelized the onions and roasted the garlic as well with the tomatoes. Uh, stuck some basil in, I think there's some veggie stock in there. And a glob of butter, because butter makes everything better. And some parmesan cheese. So I'm going to let this simmer for a little while longer, blend it all up, and then I'll have a very delicious dinner. Hello. The rain has stopped. This weather is pretty crazy. It's raining like mad one second and beautiful and dry and lovely the next. It's kind of a bummer that I'm stuck inside doing this, but you know what? I'm really, really anxious to get the shower done. And the thing I've been working on is quite strange. Let's take a closer look. Oh, you think you can sit there, do you? 
You know this is my chair. You know it's my chair. I see the guilty look on your face. You can stay there because I'm busy currently, but not for long. Okay, you make yourself at home. Enjoy it while it lasts, cat. I'm going up there. First of all, let me bash this down. And then the idea is as follows. I've got five spaces for this work. And there will be five bottles. So one, two, three, four, five. This is acting as a sort of frame to have something to build the clay up to, uh, to kind of go against the glass. The glass itself won't hold the clay, it'll just want to slide off of it, and so that's why I've got these metal things in there. I'm hoping I gave myself enough space. I'm hoping these things aren't going to get in my way later on. They definitely could, who knows. And then down at the bottom I've got um, more metal things so that the clay can grip onto the wood as well, because like I said, clay doesn't really like to grip onto just wood, so having the metal there will help it grip on. So I'll build the clay up and the lime up on this side to a certain level. Embed the bottle, the bottle in, and then, which way does this thing go? I don't know which way it goes, but on the other side, it'll be the same thing. So it'll encase the bottles into the space in between, and the spout thing will poke out the top, and it basically just gives me a frame to build the stuff around. This actually seems a lot better than I was expecting it would be. And I'm not going to really fasten anything into place just yet. I'm going to wait until I have the bottles, obviously, because they have to be put in there. Um, and I guess I'll just eat my dinner. I think my soup is probably ready, so I'll have that, take a little break, and then I'll be back in the shower very soon for some rendering. Beep. Your time is almost up, little guy. Okay, friend, your time is up, but I'll put you on the bed. You can have a nice snooze on there. And I'm going to enjoy my dinner and do some video stuff. Rain's back. So I definitely have a bunch of things I want to say about the shower, but I'll get into it at the end of the video for now. I just want to get some render on the wall and then I'm going to explain what I've done and why and what else I still need to do.
big bucket of mix still to get through. I'm going to just power through, get this done, well, get the mix done. And then after that, I'm going to show you the tiles that are going to go at the bottom of the shower, which I'm very excited about, and the tiles that are going to go in the bathroom. And I'll walk you through all of the stuff I still have to do. So I'm going to carry on with this, and I'll see you when hopefully this is looking a lot less stony and a lot more limey. Okay, the render is done. Actually, I take that back. That was the mix. The mix is done. The rendering is not done, but I ran out of mix before I could finish. And to be honest, I'm too tired to finish anyway, so it was good timing. But before I call it quits for the night, let's take a little tour around this tiny space and I'll show you all the stuff that I still want to get done in the shower. It's very dark and gloomy in here. Maybe this will help. Okay, quickly, I'm building up render, and that's basically to build up the thickness of the wall over the stones. I'm going to build the wall up, and I'm going to have it kind of rounded off at the top, and then it'll be clay above it. Eventually, I'll do one final render all at once with this mix of coarse sand, three to one with lime putty. And then after I do that, it'll be as flat as I can possibly make it, and I'm going to use a technique after called Tadalact which is some mix I don't really know yet. Uh, it's a technique where you burnish it with a stone, get it really smooth, and you can get it waterproof. So all of the stuff I'm doing so far is just about building up that base layer, and that's gonna take quite a while. So I'll be working on building up these walls for, for a bit. I even wanna put some more on this wall as well. And I'm gonna continue up with this wall and take it all the way up to this line which is going to be where I have the shelf. So I'll saw off this bit of wood up here, saw it off over there, plunk down a nice thick chunky wooden shelf. The lime will go all the way up to just under the shelf and the clay will go up to the other side just under that shelf, which will be removable. And hopefully I can figure out a way to do some kind of like LED light nonsense in the bottles. I've got a drain that I hate down here that I want to remove and replace with a better one. I need to find a stone that goes in there. I, I'll do that after I hack out this drain. I think I wanna keep these rocks exposed, so I need to clean them up. I need to build up the floor, I think just a little bit more because of the drain that I'll be putting in, but I'm not sure. I also want to grind this so that it's more flat. Otherwise, I'll have to build the wall out quite a bit. Um, not 100% sure on that either. I am excited about these tiles though. So these are gonna go in the shower. And the reason I got these ones is because they're nice and small. So it means that I don't have to be too concerned about the slope that I have with the shower floor. If you have big tiles, then you end up having to cut a whole bunch of triangles to try to make it fit properly, to make it slope properly. But with these, they're a lot more forgiving. And I've never laid a tile in my life. So I'm quite excited about that. And then on this side, the bathroom, I'm going to use these tiles so they've got a nice little pattern. And I think it'll match nicely with these tiles, which will kind of also go over and then around the skirting board of the bathroom, I suppose. What else is there? There's a whole bunch of stuff I want to do over here, but let's just focus on the shower for now. There's also the taps. The reason I haven't put the taps in securely is because I don't need to yet. I can wait and do this at the very end. I want to test out the plumbing under pressure before I actually put everything into the wall solidly. And there's really no rush on that because Lord knows when that's going to happen. So I can just keep this as a weird cavernous hole. And eventually when I'm ready to attach the taps, I can stuff it with lime and, and fill it all in at that stage. Uh, what else is there? What else is there? I think that's pretty much about it. Um, oh, I will have a shower head that I'll somehow clip on there, which I haven't bought yet. And is that all? I think that might be all. 
So that's a very quick summary of all the stuff that I still have to do in the shower. I have no idea how long it's going to take. I do have to wait a while between the render layers drying, so that's why this project's been delayed, and of course I get busy with other things too. So I'm really happy with the amount of work that I got done today. I had no idea how this thing was going to go, but it's turned out, I think, okay. And the render is always an enjoyable job for me, so I'm quite happy with how things have gone. And I'm going to need to go to the shops, get some bottles before I can continue on with this project. Okay, so that's it for me. It's about 9.30 and I am very tired. So let's open this back up. There's a nice breeze that blows in here, even though it's raining out there. And I'm off to bed. Goodbye, shower. See you next time. All right, I'm gonna wrap up part one of the video there. I don't know if you can hear the chainsawing in the background. I have a lot of chainsawing in my future today for this beautiful sunshiny day. But I still have part two of the shower series coming out tomorrow. So stay tuned for that out at 5 p.m. on Saturday. So I hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, if you did, please do leave me a like. If you haven't subscribed already, please do. And I'll see you in the next video.